then I would say the same thing that I said for the they 147. Had, I mean, they had they didn't make a run last time because they were a reserve craft that never really entered into the actions. So. Uh, Vera and Tamara, where would you feel like you would best be situated? In your current positions, or would you like to swap? So Vera looks at you and says, I will not be your wing woman. Uh, do not assign me to that. We'll keep our same position. You know, eventually you're like, going to have to cover me. I don't think actually NPCs can make that They move. can't make the move. So, so it doesn't really matter. Yes, they're telling you specifically if they're assigned to do that, they're not going to cover you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they then, can't. Well, fair enough. Then I, I'll turn around and say, I wouldn't want someone such as yourself watching my back anyway. Okay. You can stay there and draw fire for all I care. So you are assigning number 147 as Vedamaya then? Yep. All right. And... Crap. Oh, wait, no. Um, uh... yep. Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll... Yeah, fuck it. All right. It can be Vedamaya. I don't care. We might need to draw some fire for you so you don't get... So the crash burn <laughs> thing doesn't... Uh... You don't have to assign them as Vedamaya. You can just have them be a second wing, but if they are Vedamaya, they can eat that stuff for you. You do yep. trust them to take the hit for you, don't you? I trust them as far as I can throw them, so... Okay. They can be Vedamaya, they can prove themselves, or they can just... So... End up on the wrathful end of an investigation, I suppose. The aircraft take off, it's like watching World of Warships. The aircraft all go like this, or like... And we've got everyone coming in for a low bombing run, just mm. a few dozen meters off the ground, and Ride of the Valkyries is playing, and uh, we need Do someone we... to wayfind, and that's going to have to be <laughs> Sa <laughs> Flight Lieutenant Sasha. All right, I got a new uh, skill, so it shouldn't be so bad. All right, tell uh, us about it. I, um, can wayf I can wayfind too, right? Yes, you wayfind if they fail. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so I'm going to um, basically. I have a map with me in my lap, but um, you know, I'm also going to be using my actual, like, just looking over the side to find out where we are. Um, so I'm looking for the river, as it said, as it simulates a bridge. So that's what I'm going to be doing, looking for the river. And once we find it, I'm going to uh, direct the course into the correct. Position and then hand over the controls over to uh, okay. uh, Zubov. So, you're way fine. You need to make a skill roll. Would you like to add the mission pool to that? And uh, on a ten, you find textbook approach. Um, sure. Yeah, I'll add the mission pool to it. Okay. Yeah. So with uh. You know, Tamara's enthusiasm, she pops a flare and, and directs you just to line up perfectly. Like, you were almost there, and then mm. she pops the green flare to let you know you need to go, like, 10 degrees to the right. You line up a perfect attack. Uh, unfortunately, your pilot misses. Dubov just completely misses the attack run. All right. So... Plane 147, you're next on the attack run. So, Ileana can make an attack roll that's op or not, not an attack roll, a navigation roll that's optional? Uh, that's only if you fail. Okay, so Tatiana, this is technically... So you, need, you need to make an attack roll, basically? Yep. 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 Sergeant Tatiana, your attack roll's up. Yep. My attack roll is up. This is guts, right? Yep. You can do it. This is at plus one as I hold regard for my aircraft. Oh, nice. That's about as good as I could hope for with a minus one. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's get? actually nine? Uh, it's actually a nine, yeah. Okay, yeah. you don't have anyone to vet Amaya for you. I do not. You. So I hit. choose. You two. get two consequences. Attack run. Uh, make the plane that make. Uh, can you make the? Yeah. Wait, hang on. Can you make the our plane damaged? Uh, I need. Nope. To... You choose a plane to be damaged, and I get to choose which. Uh, you choose 
a plane uh, is damaged and I choose which one and I just want to throw this out here. If 47 takes another point of damage, it explodes killing everyone inside. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, Tatiana would never choose the harm of a plane. Ah, of course. Why not? Yeah. Uh, um, so mm. out of curiosity, do I still succeed on my attack run if the target to the damage or if the damage to the target is not yep, significant? You've succeeded on your attack run. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I will choose the damage to the target is not significant, and it is my okay. fault, um, as I screwed up the, uh, okay. the attack Excellent. run. Um, and let's see, me and my fellow airwoman are marked, so both Ooh. Ileana and I are marked. Okay, not interesting. Great. Okay, uh, how many so marks, marks take would you take? You? What's if that? You take. Uh, all of the marks. Eventually, you pick one that says "Embrace Death." So and you just die. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But oh, okay. so, what marks would you guys like to pick? You know, both of yours should have one that says "Advance." Just throwing it out there, and it'll be good. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. take that one first. Okay. What? I mean, this is training. Uh, uh, go ahead, Thor. I will. Well. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get some harsh lessons here and learn a new move. Okay, what raven move would you like to pick? You are a raven, uh, right? I did nail that. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. Well, I am going to pick Fortune's Fool and pick a move and get to roll luck with it instead of the normal one. Okay, which move would you like to pick? Uh, that would be... Dang, that's actually <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm going to go for uh, attack, r attack run, which... So okay. instead of getting a minus one to it, it'll be a plus two. Fantastic for you. <laughs> It, yep. it, it turns out, after this attack run went so badly, now you're just feeling so lucky all the time. Yeah. Uh, I'm, one question, though. Uh, does the fact that we got marked mean that we need to make a rough landing? Nope. Uh, n yeah, no. It wasn't a... Like, we didn't trigger enemy fire. You did not. Yeah. Uh, so, next time around, uh, we're going to have... I'm just throwing this out here. I need to to bring the plane wheels down to, to get uh, to get an advance. Babe, if I walk nah, away from a... no no right. you don't right. need to bring the plane wheels down you need to make a wayfind run. No, uh, I'm an I'm an adventurer. Oh, you're try yeah you're trying to get the advance yeah. right. Yeah, okay. if, we, basically but on the third. Before worrying about the advance, maybe you should yeah. worry about <laughs> completing training. Yeah. Basically, on the third run, when when our planes don't matter anymore, I would like to walk away from a wrecked aircraft. You can intentionally wreck your aircraft if you'd like. Well, maybe on there the third. There will be a question as to whether you can walk away from it or not. But yeah, please don't wreck the aircraft while I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> I will. That would be to... most unfortunate for me. All right. So, uh, what are you taking there, Sparrow? Uh, so, as a sparrow, as I've completely screwed up this attack run, um, I have a feeling I'm going to get an earful whenever I get back. Um, however, it is a training exercise, uh, so I do not escape uh, training without some harsh lessons. I add a... or no, uh, eh, harsh lessons? Let's go with added responsibility. Um, this, uh, <laughs> okay. Increase in rank. Okay, um, lieutenant. Yeah. So I am going... And also, I think I'm the only one who's actually qualified to graduate from the academy at this point. Yes, that's true. Um, so I am going to raise guts. So I'm not so horrible at... How are you raising guts? Uh, so the experience of dropping bombs on a target, even if they were... Oh, right. Add, I'm sorry. I forgot added responsibility actually yeah. lets you raise your stats. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, yeah welcome so, to the ranks of commissioned officer. I still that rank all of you. I'm just too busy GMing. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So... Uh. I love that the two of your commission dates are literally hours apart. 
<laughs> yeah, and we both had to we both had to take on successful bombing runs to get there. Wow, really? I'm glad that you can laugh about this. I can't wait till we get to the part where everyone starts dying. <sighs> okay. I I'm worried about one thing. I gotta say this uh, sort of out, out of character here. The fact that the, I need to make an, a wayfinding role, and I'm I'm gonna get one chance at it. Basically. Hey, man! Like, listen to what happened to me when I tried to do a guts run. You know, I got one chance to do that as well. So, so yeah. Next but... time, Zerkova has to make a wayfind, and Sokolov has to make an attack run. That's really both of you. <laughs> Yeah. So, so, so what I'm going to offer you is some advice. Make a good mission pool. So here's what I'm asking. Uh, basically, I'm just wondering about the system. There's four of us. If there's four of us, how can we graduate? There, there's, there's a possibility that we're so successful that one person does not have to roll any dice. Uh, theoretically, that's up to your section leader to ensure that yes. you have successfully had the opportunity to advance. If your section leader is like, no, you're not going to have the opportunity to shine and not even going to have an opportunity to fulfill the basic requirements of graduation, well, I mean, if, then your section leader basically screws you. Is I want to point out that Vera and Tamara, while they've both made a successful attack run, neither have we found, and next time around, neither will. Uh, no, no. I mean, if there's four of us, and the section leader chooses a different plane every time, and there's it's a management. It's, it's management. management. Yeah. It's it has. To, it's all in the section leader to not fuck it up for you guys. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Which is why that you and I will be in the same plane next time, most likely. Okay. Oh man, that's gonna be awesome. All right, <laughs> you land, and now we begin the debriefing. Your ranking officer is. I think the bear's going to show up. Okay. Major Bershanskaya shows up and looks Is this over the same his... one that I... No, different major. Yeah. You're, that's Major Markova, who's basically the head of the three regiments. Okay. Uh, the sun begins to rise, and the bear shows up and says, So, tell me what went wrong. Junior Lieutenant... Is that me? That's you. Because remember, he doesn't get, or I'm sorry, she doesn't get a promotion until the next run. Okay. Um, yeah, quite simply, we uh, failed to land a hit on the first run. Uh, that was the lead plane, myself and uh, Zubov. Uh, Zubov. Um, we successfully navigated there with the help of our wing, wing ladies, uh, they they marked a, a slight error in our calculations with a flare, which was very helpful for making sure that we hit hit the run on time, and uh, we just weren't able to successfully hit it uh, first with the first bombing, and the second attempt was a hit, but it wasn't a clean one, so we weren't able to do as much damage as we should have. I see. <clears throat> State security has asked that a number of you be shipped to their office. She uh, begins listing off names and asks everyone but Sasha Sokolov to report to the NKVD. <laughs> Tell me about Sasha Sokolov, would you please? <laughs> Out of Arthur? Yeah. Okay. I just saw one quick thing Yep. in the rule book. Yep. Which I'm going to link in roll 20, which may make a difference in this entire thing. After uh, an attack run by a leader. Which the leader... None of you have the leader subtype. No. Ah, okay. Gotcha. I'm the only one who took leader is the thing. All right. Oh, okay. All right, never mind. Yep. Then, yes, I'm going to be speaking to the NKVD. Yes. <clears throat> so, Lieutenant Svetlana Sheremetiva is... Uh, and this is going to be, like, one of those interrogation room scenes where like it keeps cutting between two different scenes of like the same person talking to both people but you know like they'll ask a question and you'll think it's being asked to one person but the camera cuts and it's actually to the next person you know what i'm talking about sure mm -hmm. like, they stand, procedurals. Like, like they yeah. will pass the camera and it's a different person on the yeah, other side exactly like, yeah. 
Yeah. So, uh, so Lieutenant Sveta walks past the camera, and it's uh, Sergeant Petrovna there. And uh, <clears throat> the NKVD officer asks, So, Sergeant Petrovna, how are you enjoying the regiment now that you are flying under Junior Lieutenant Sokolov? Uh, Tatiana Petrovna rolls her eyes and says, This is not a, not a proper lady. However, she has done well enough as section lead for the one role that she has actually done. A run, one training run that she has done. I understand. You feel that she is a competent leader then? Worthy of the rank that she has received? The worthy of the rank? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what, is, the what is Tatiana going to say? Now, remember, if you lie, you're going to roll one set of stats, and if you tell the, the truth, truth, you roll <laughs> <laughs> What is the stats for the truth? Is it guts? Truth or? is guts. Okay, truth is guts, which is known and lie as... is luck, I believe, if I remember yep. correctly. Uh, yes. Which at this point both are equal. Uh, I kind of feel like Tatiana would be a gossiper at this point. She would just like go on about kind of the illicit relationships that she's kind of witnessed um, with uh, with Sasha. Um, yeah, so she's gonna she's gonna go into it. like like probably absolutely nothing related to the question. She's just gonna go on okay. and on and on about uh, kind of the unladylike behavior that she's witnessed, and she's even gonna throw in stuff that's completely unrelated to her abilities to perform. So you're just going like to lie. No, 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 no. Well, uh, she from her she's perspective. She's asking you how. Okay, if you feel like you're telling the truth, go ahead and roll guts. No, I mean I I feel yeah. like her her perspective is that. As as a character, like as 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 a person, Sasha, you have to is... roll. You're not getting out of this. <laughs> I, I mean, it doesn't matter which Make one I roll. roll. I understand how you want to do this. Yep. Make okay. the roll. Guts. Oh, fingers crossed. There. Oh. <laughs> All right. So she slams her hand on the table, and the camera shifts over. It's Lieutenant Zer. Well, sorry, Sergeant Zerkova in the chair, and she says, <laughs> Zerkova. I know about your family's aristocratic past. You think just because your father died. Now you can do whatever. So she takes her hands, which are long and thin and uh, have red painted nails, and she, like, holds your face and tilts your eyes up to hers, and she's tell me about Sergeant, sorry, I mean, Lieutenant Sokolov's performance today. She's got her eyes locked on you. Well, she was very good in navigating. I cannot say the same for her pilot, but... I don't care about the pilot. Tell me about Sokolov. What do you want to know? She navigated quite well. I want the truth. She navigated quite well. Do you feel <laughs> that she's worthy of her rank? Is she a natural-born Soviet airwoman? Did she sleep with Captain Galunov? I wouldn't know. And uh, I wouldn't know yet if she's a natural-born Soviet airwoman. Maybe when we've had more ti ex time together, more training, I could tell you. I honestly couldn't say at this point what a natural-born Soviet airwoman would be like. So you do need to make a decision. Are you lying or telling the truth? I will remind you, whether you or character remembered or not, it was mentioned in the meeting you were present at by Tamara. Did you honestly forget, or are you lying to the NKVD to protect your former comrade, now turned commanding officer? Uh, I'm fibbing a little bit. I'm bending the truth. Okay, sure. Go ahead and roll luck. Hmm. Oof. An eight. Okay. And pretty good roll considering you rolled a five and a one. Yeah. You can pick yeah. one of the following. You have to incriminate a family member or a comrade you have positive regard for. Uh, you agree to frame the target of their current investigation, <laughs> or you and the comrade of your choice are marked. Interesting. That's a good one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're not allowed to do that. 
Not not when my life is on the line here, Arthur. <laughs> Who do you, how do you know that you're the target of their current investigation? I'm pretty sure I just got on their radar. Uh, well, <laughs> considering that everyone's like, okay, entire squadron, go talk to these people. Sasha, stay where you are. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. But I like clearly you guys it's are about all laughing, me. but someone could die from this interview. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Sergeant Zarkova, what option will you pick? How does this all end? How high regard do I need to hold this person? Can you incriminate your plan? Positive regard literally means you have regard as a stat. For that okay, that only means... That you means... don't have regard for My plane! <laughs> My plane did it, man! My plane has a life as You own. could incriminate a family member. That's an option. My dead father. Nope, can't incriminate him. He's dead. <laughs> and he's also apparently already incriminated. And a traitor. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that he was also a sexist? <laughs> Something the Red Army would not give a shit about. <laughs> He's intolerant oh. to women. Sergeant Zerkova, what is your answer? Well, I, uh, well, I'm asking out of character. Can I tell them something about my about uh, my family that they weren't aware of already? You can incriminate a new family member. Sh Do I have to like this family member? I'm excellent. How you do you have think positive your family? Wait, wait, you do, how I do have you think lots your of family? <laughs> No, I mean, it says you have to incriminate a family member or comrade you have positive regard for. Like, okay, yeah, okay. I I family, like no, them. no, it's a break. It's a family member slash or a comrade oh. you have positive regard for. Gotcha. Uh, okay. I think that's... I, I say I'm, I'm aware of it, my, your current investigation. I'm... <clears throat> How, how did that investigation go with m about my uncle, however? Your uncle Sveki. Yeah. <laughs> There's something you wish to tell me about Sveki. You there was some rumors that he was a homosexual. You never did find out, did you? There's well, something you need to admit to me, Sergeant? Well, if you go to a certain house on a certain street, I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. At exactly uh. 12 p.m. when he gets his bumming on. So I think that the it gets really dark in the room, and it's just a spotlight on Zerkova, and you see the silhouette of Lieutenant Sveta standing over her, just writing things down furiously in the book. And we cut to a scene where uh, Uncle Sveki is being pulled out of like this uh, opium den. Where he's just like, no, no, please. And there's like Red Army officers with batons just beating him. And like a tooth flies out and he's like, no, who turned me out? And an NKVD major walks up and says, don't you know, Sergeant Zerkova sends her regards. And he's like, no, please. <clears throat> and then we see a jail door closing in his face. And <clears throat> that was harsh. That was rough. <laughs> He's probably the oh. nice uncle, too, who always remembered Christmas presents and always sent you cards. I like how you're humanizing <laughs> the people who will now never escape prison. Yeah. The next scene is literally, like, Sasha Sakova, <laughs> like, maybe, like, putting up, like, a, sh a, a shirt on her belly. And she's like, yeah, I think this looks good. <laughs> and then it, like, cuts back to, like, a guy getting beaten by a fucking <laughs> <laughs> Well... If you'd have if you'd have actually bothered to read my entire family history, which I didn't post online, yeah, of course I would have read that had you actually posted it. Yeah, uh, needless to say, this uncle was not a very nice man, and uh, did things. So I am very happy about this. Okay, which is why I was asking you if I needed to actually like the guy of course. because I. Because I hated him. But I want to point out, your family's probably heard. There will be consequences. Yeah. They know that you're willing to sell them out. What's left of them anyway? On the <laughs> other hand, on the other hand, you <laughs> did protect Flight Lieutenant Sokolov. So, <clears throat> if you had any harm, you can remove it as another month passes. April 1942. Peace. Another month of grueling training. The pace has become more frantic. Supplies are becoming rarer as the combat situation becomes more and more uncertain. The regiment's airplanes are suffering, and pressure from the staff officers continues to mount. 
Not only are you expected to become excellent pilots and navigators, you're expected to become model Soviet airwomen, perfect in every way. Something has got to give. That damage that was on plane 47? 47, 47 was discovered over the last month, but hasn't been repaired. Okay. It's really? just been flown over and over again without repair. Tatiana is going to make it her personal mission to make sure that plane is... That's bad, man. We got like fix she is going to go out of her way to make sure that that pla that that plane is airworthy. In addition, your new sergeant Zubov has been uh, spending a lot of time with NKDVD officers and has been side promoted to state security. What does that mean? That means <laughs> that she's now part of the NKVD, so when she's not flying planes, she's investigating things. She's yep. been spending an awful lot of time with Tatiana Petrovna, asking her some pretty interesting questions about her past. Who is this uh, person again? It is uh, Tomorrow, Sergeant Pilot Zubov Bayan. of State Zubov. Security. Zubov. The eager, the eager Remember recruit. the eager young woman who failed her attack run? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. She's moved herself sideways into NKVD territory. Okay. Does that mean we need a new pilot, or is she still in the Oh, the... she's still in the regiment, but she no longer needs to uh, <clears throat> pass marks. If she fails to become a pilot, she'll just continue on as a state security officer. Interesting. All right. Yeah. So That's Tatiana is probably continuing to gossip to this particular person. Does she even know that she's moved to NKVD? Okay. Oh, she talk, uh, Zubov talks about it all the time. She's like, oh, yes, I've spent a lot of time with state security officers. <laughs> Lieutenant Sveta always brings me milk chocolate. Which oh, means that I probably so Tatiana tell her. is... Oh, Tatiana, always... you are my best friend. You keep, you keep so much going on for me. If Without you, I wouldn't have half the things to report that I do. <laughs> Thank you so much, sister. So Tatiana and her probably love to gossip together. So I have a feeling she gets as much back from that whole exchange. Whether or not it's actually true or not is another question. But yeah, so Tatiana is just continuing to gossip with her. Okay. So, okay. It's probably a new experience. So what do you guys want to do? Get that uh, mission pool, son. Tatiana goes to the airfield or goes to the uh, hangar and starts doing her repairs. Okay. Let's do the repair roll then. Okay. So there. after discovery, after it is discovered that she is, uh, after, dis after it's discovered that a plane that she has worked on has suffered damage that she didn't know about, is it okay if I say that Tatiana automatically inflicts one harm by doing two repair rolls on it? Basically saying that she's going to dedicate herself to for if like the entire day? If repair roll fails... We'll see. Well, like if it succeeds, we'll she still gains one harm. I guess is my point. Does that make sense? Like we'll she see. is dedicating lost sleep. Let's make the roll as normal. Okay. All right. No, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> you fucking knock oh. that shit out the park. <laughs> yeah, you repair the you, fuck out of that plane. <laughs> you you totally could have gotten one harm out of me for that. <laughs> you know how in video games, how you repair something and then it shimmers when it's done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The other regimental armors, armor repairs are just like, hey, good job there. Sergeant Kateva comes over and says, Petrovna, didn't I talk to you on the day you came here? She's just chomping down on her cigar. Uh, so, yes, sir. I remember you. I think you were pissing in your boots holding my god's damn shovel, huh? I believe that was my associate. Sasha. Uh, of course, of course. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I actually, as, as a player, I thought it was Sasha. No, so it was at this, Yeah, it was Ileana. He says, well, you've got the knack for it. I'll make sure to write it up in my report, Sergeant. I'm most grateful for your positive review. Nice work. Hey, uh, if you're not doing anything later, did you want to catch one of those cowboy movies in the barracks? That I appreciate the offer. However, I have uh, 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 a prior engagement. Of course, of course. Right. Da -da 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 uh, okay. Is there anything anybody else wants to do? 
Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Um, what is the best way that I can get stuff? <laughs> you mean apart from the way that you 